Hello friends, and welcome back to Dream Daddy. My name is Frost, and uh, yeah, we are just waiting for Robert to message us back, if you remember from last episode, which I'm sure you did, since if you're watching these in uh, concurrent episodes, then it was just a couple minutes ago, but you know, for me it's been a few days. Anywho, so, here we are, sitting on the TV, sitting on the TV, we're just sitting on the TV and we're gonna watch the couch. Uh, what channel do you like to watch on the couch? Uh, personally, I would probably watch, eh, Let's watch a game show. Game shows are always fun. Ooh, Family Fortune's on. Alright, Nicole, your parents are in the lead, and it's up to you to win it big. Are you ready? I'm ready. They hook the contestant up to a lie detector in front of her parents. Oh, this is gonna get good. Who is your favorite parent? Um, uh, my mom? Ooh, sorry, incorrect. Next question. If both of your parents were hanging off the edge of a cliff, which would you save? Uh, this is terrible. I love it. I lose several hours to whatever the hell this was. Sighing, I get up and walk around the house. This, my stomach grumbles. Well, time for lunch, huh? Well, I guess it's time for old Chef Denmark to cook a gourmet delicacy. Better than Chef Denmark than Chef Dick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. Good job, guys. Way to, way to hide the picture before it loads the next scene. I walk over to the refrigerator and open the door. Uh, ooh, make a sandwich, microwave some, and microwave some eggs. Must turn into a jar? What the? Who eats this? We're making a sandwich. I make a sandwich and it's entirely while, and it's entirety while standing there. Who needs plates? The sandwich, a lost art. I will say, I mean, coming from a person who worked at Subway my entire high school career, it is a lost art. I admire my work for a second before I clumsily drop the entire thing on the floor. Oh, you frickin' idiot. No! I look around and remember that Amanda's not home. Eh, this is still good. Five second rule, right? I read some of my sandwich, peeling pickles off the floor and putting them back to where they belong. In my mouth. Oh, well, if it fell apart like that, you don't put it back together. Like if it just fell on the floor. I don't know, my rule, personally, I don't know about you guys, let me down, know down in the comments section, but uh, my rule is if it's something dry, or hard that fell on the floor, then it's fine. Well, as long as the floor is not too bad. If you can, like, see hair and dirt and dust, like, don't pick it up and eat it. But if it's something dry, like bread or uh, chocolate, uh, hard candy, if something, like a cookie or cracker, if something like that falls on the floor, you can pick it up. But if it's something wet, something that's going to pick up the dust, like a pickle, or if you put mayo on a sandwich, don't pick it back up and eat it. That's all I'm saying. Anywho... Wait, I'm a wreck. I finish my snack and walk around the house some more. Bored. When's Amanda coming home? Oh! I just remembered something. When we were packing up the old house, we found an old basketball hoop that would hang off the door. I could, I would probably, I would, I would really bring the living room to get it. Would, I can't read today. I apologize. I can't read any day. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? I'm terrible at reading. I wonder where I put that. I spend a couple minutes poking around the new place until I find it. After installing it above one of the doors in the living room, I'm ready to dunk. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam! I take a leap from, from the free throw line and rocket that sucker down the net. The crowd goes wild, ah, ah, and welcome to the jam! I pull up from the three point line, breaking ankles and sinking a fadeaway. And I forgot the rest of the words to this song. What are the rest of the words of this song? Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Come on and slam. That's all the words I know, apparently. Come on and slam, welcome to the jam. Uh, no look behind the back, no look behind the back, hook shot. Everyone's on their feet. Ah, yeah. Something, something, space jam. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wow, I was dunking all day long. Eh, pretty typical of me. <laughs> I am a dunk fanatic. I managed to just barely defeat myself at horse before Amanda comes home. Then we cook dinner together. We're proud of ourselves for not even coming close to burning down the house. That's... Considering the fact that you dropped a sandwich, it's pretty impressive that you could cook something without burning down the house. Afterwards, Amanda and I dig into a carton of ice cream over an episode of Chopped Toddler Torment. Oh, that's creepy sounding. What you have in front of you is a molecule molecularly deconstructioned sweet potato with a brown... Oh, it's a cooking show. Sweet potato with a brown sugar de demi-glace with creme fraiche... With creme fraiche... Of course. This is literally a jar of baby food. The toddler immediately bursts into tears. 
Are we bad people for watching this? Yes. After a few more episodes, Amanda goes to bed. Wow, that was okay. I checked my computer one last time. Still nothing from Robert. What a jerk! But it says he read my message. Is he ignoring me? Eventually I climb into bed and get some rest. But I just can't stop wondering why Robert won't message me back. <laughs> message me back. If you don't have anything not to say, don't say anything at all. Unless they're stupid. Date complete. That was a date? That was a date? I'm intrigued. I'm in I'm intrigued. Relax, Dad. Friendship. That increased our friendship. Crime. Oh, that's a lot of crime going on. Whiskey. Not enough whiskey in our lives. Vandalism and bad ideas. Eh, half and half. 50-50 bad ideas. Not not bad. Knife Dad. Welcome. You've got dads. I've got dads. Eh, I don't know. Let's go. With, oh, what's DB? Uh, Dick. Listen. This is from. This is you from the past. It is. Whoa. How'd this happen? I figure. You're trying to reply to this because I know myself, but this is an automated message from you from you earlier this morning, when it was socially unacceptable to get out of to get out and buy ice cream. I forgot I did that. I forgot how I did that as well. The future is amazing. Listen, life is short and ice cream should always be acceptable, but unfortunately this isn't the society we live in. And it's less the society we live in, and more me projecting my own anxiety about being judged by others. Uh, judged onto others, but you know what I mean. By the time you're reading this, it is a certain time of day in which nobody will bat an eye at you for going out and buying ice cream. You know what to do. Be good to me. But who cares at what time of day I'd go out and frickin' 6 a.m. and buy some ice cream? Uh, what you do when you do it? Blah 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 blah. Have a good life. That's what that means. You know what? I've earned a treat. On the way home, I decided to stop off. Wait a minute. Uh, didn't we just wake up? Is it not still the morning time? If you're so concerned about what people think, what, like, wouldn't... I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I've earned a treat. On the way home, I decided to stop off and grab some ice cream, which I fully plan to eat directly from the tub. That's a good way to do it. Oh, man, now it's night time again. Okay. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out just which type of ice cream I'd like to eat directly from the tub. Rocky Road? Pistachio? Oh, Amanda's probably going to want some, too. Better get two tubs. She loves cookie dough ice cream, right? Oh, cookie dough's the best. I love cookie dough ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream? Uh, let me know down, down in the comments. Hey, mister! I turn around and see Ernest. Oh, leaning up against the wall of the convenience store. Ernest? You're cool, right? I'm cool? I'm, I'm so cool. Yeah, I'm cool. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. Well, if you're cool, you'll help me out, right? Help you out? There's no fire involved, is there? Just clouds. So, if, you get, if I give you 20 bucks, will you buy me e-liquid? Ernest, what's e-liquid? It's like, uh, Gatorade. You know, electrolyte liquid. I'd get it myself, but I'm banned from the here for trying to run a grift on the cashier. Okay. A classic fiddle game. You know the deal. Oh, if you're talking about balanced electrolytes, then I got you, little buddy. And I didn't know you played the fiddle. Just ask the clerk for Blue Cranzapple Vortex. He'll know what it is. But I pick up a tub of pistachio ice cream for myself and a tub of cookie dough ice cream for Amanda. I search around for Blue Crazen Void Starer, but can't seem to find any. I turn to the cashier. Say, where's your finest e-liquid? Behind the counter. You got an ID? First of all, my daughter is older than you. Second of all, I'm flattered I switched the shamp I switched shampoo recently. Is that taking some years off? Look, you need to be 21 to buy vape juice. Your hair doesn't look day over your hair doesn't look a day over 20. Oh. Well, thank you. I I I work hard to keep this young look. Wait a minute. Are you just trying to butter me up to get me to buy more ice cream? Because it's working. I glance outside and spot Ernest staring at me. Double wait a minute! So you're telling me that e-liquid is not a sports drink? It's for vaping. Ernest is watching us intently through the window. I better go give that kid a piece of my mind. I see. Okay, look. I'm gonna pretend that you didn't try to trick me into buying you the old bap buffamentos cough syrup and then go inside here to purchase my ice cream. I won't tell your dad if you promise to scram. And stop vaping! You'll get popcorn lung. Yeah, vapors. What if I give you 25? 
Go home, Ernest. As I'm walking back inside, Ernest calls after me. You can get popcorn long from microwave popcorn, you know. I no longer trust this child, but the mere mention strikes fear into my heart. Yeah, I guess you could if you inhaled the popcorn. I go back inside to complete my purchase with the good cashier. Thank you, kind sir, for your time and generous hair compliments. You got it, bub. But, bub. Call me bub. I glance out the window while I see Ernest still outside. Looks like he's talking to some other poor sap. Guess I should go outside and save this other guy from grief. Wait a second, that's definitely a cop. Oh boy. I grab my tubs of ice cream and bolt outside. Ernest is already face down on the hood of the squad car. Ernest, did you seriously just try to get a cop to buy you e-liquid? Do you know this kid? Uh, I'm a friend with his dad. That seems like an honest thing to say. Uh, yeah, we live in the same cul-de-sac. I know his dad. Listen, he's a good kid, and I'm this boy's father. I turn around to see Robert walking up. Oh, Robert! Oh, he's come to save me! Well, let's see what Robert says to his child on the next episode of Dream Daddy. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. Ring that little bell if you haven't so you know when more videos go up. Videos go up every day. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys have a great rest of your days. I'll see you guys in the comments section. And as always, keep it frosty, friends. Man. Look at that jawline.